Hi, Blast Pop here. Today I'm taking a look at something I had purchased recently on Amazon, uh, Seven Wonders Duel, which is a two-player version of the classic game, uh, Seven Wonders, which is a multiplayer game. And this brings it down to uh, a more manageable two-player game. And I do believe there are some rules out there uh, for solitaire play. Now, I've enjoyed playing uh, Seven Wonders at my game club quite a bit as a nice filler game and or playing like uh, three three or four games during the course of a, a gaming evening with my buds. Um, this is much smaller. The, 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 the components are smaller, but it encapsulates some of the same gameplay. And some people actually think this is a superior game to the original Seven Wonders. I haven't played it yet, although I have punched the counters, uh, opened up the cards, and I'm I'm going to see if I can download uh, some solitaire rules and maybe even get my wife interested to give a, a play of it. Um, it comes in a small um, box, um, probably about uh, six, seven by seven, and about an inch and a half thick. Your rules, uh, everything combined is... 20 pages. Uh, nicely illustrated, shows you all your components, it tells you what your components are, object of the game, illustrations throughout, high quality. You have your wonder cards, you have a board, which is a, a fold out piece, your tokens, your coins, your age cards, you got three ages, ages one, two, and three, or A, B, and C, I'm not, I can't remember. And then you have your guilds, and here's what the game looks like set up and partly set up in play. And each age you set up um, the starting positions for each age a little diff differently. Sort of like a solitaire game in, in that regard, the way the board is set up, which you'll still see here shortly. These, the original Seven Wonders is, is easy to play, but... The strategies and interactions with the players really make for a challenging, fun-filled, different game every time you play. I really love it. And then you have your description of your symbols for ages 1, 2, and 3. Civilization comes to a card game, in essence. And your list of cards... And this is where the various ages, you set them up differently to start. A help sheet with handy dandy reminders. Nice cardstock, nicely printed. This is the aforementioned board. It's more like an assistance card. Thick counter material. A conflict marker, hence the double swords and the shields. A handy dandy card to keep track of things during the course of play. And then All the various like hanging gardens, statue of Zeus, the Sphinx, things to try to get to and score points for, for getting. The mausoleum of Heliconarsis. Love the graphics on these cards. Very tastefully done, kind of subdued, but very evocative. It just Spot on as far as I'm concerned. A scoring pad for your games. Single sided, but they give you a boatload of them. These are the guild cards, the G cards, which each player, I believe, gets one and um, it allows you to do certain things in the game, break the rules, so to speak. Uh, additionally, you got the first, first age 
and they bore basic things like lumber yards, stone pits, and this is what they produce. And I believe this is what the what the cost is. Shields for combat. These produce victory. So that's the first age. Second age. Blueback and a sawmill produces two wood quarry brickyard science more warfare again the same style of artwork as the bigger cards very pleasing to the eye And the third in a purple. I believe there's 23 in the first two ages cards. And then there's 20 in the third. You can see these produce more. So what the costs are to produce, I believe. Haven't played, like I said, but man, this is really a cool game. Filler game. The Senate, the Obelisk Town Hall, Gardens. Also, you got your coinage. Um, can't remember what, quite what those are. And then like um, strategy, architecture, law. Comes in a nice plastic case or a pl plastic holder. Although it's somewhat less useful than you would first anticipate because all the counters need to go somewhere. And you kind of have to like tuck them in there and split them up. Not a big deal. Everything has a place. No question. Very nicely done. And again, I picked it up for less than I believe it was $20 on sale on a deal of the day. So I think for the money and for the greatness that it's in the gameplay that people talk about i think i'm going to be really enjoying this one for some time to come and again maybe i can convince my wife anyway this has been blast pop please comment like subscribe bye